So this is a vlog, um, hence why I feel it's okay to have a beer. I uh, recently went to Sweden, to Stockholm, and I wanted to share my experience with you, let you know what I thought of it. You can tell me what I didn't do and what I should have done or whether I did the right thing while I was there, but I went to loads and loads of places and I thought I'd show some of them to you. Um, I didn't go there with the intention of vlogging or anything. When I travel, I like to just take a few pictures, a few videos, but experience everything. So not really through the camera lens, but I have got some fun things to show you. I went there with my best mate, Dave, so you'll probably see some of him in there as well. So Stockholm has some interesting architecture. Seriously though, actually I really, really enjoyed it. It's a very, it's a very varied city. Um, lots of new architecture and lots of old side by side. Pretty fantastic actually, a great place to walk around and explore. And we did that almost every day. We stayed in an interesting hotel called the Haymarket, art deco themed, and it sort of had a bit of a film vibe going on. And this was the lobby, which is pretty ace. The, um, the main old town was called Gamla Stan, and it had a lot of old buildings there, as you'd expect. Lots of old bits of architecture, and it was really lovely to walk around. There were lots of sort of narrow streets and strange um, antique shops selling weird and wonderful things. It was just, it was kind of beautiful. I mean, I went in November, so it was a little bit cold, but no more colder than it is in the UK. It was really, really interesting, and the people were incredibly friendly. So while we were there, we went uh, past the Royal Palace and the Italian Prime Minister was visiting and being greeted by the King, I believe. As I said, we did a lot of walking, so we found a lot of things going on in the city. But um, we also found that not very far outside of the central area, you get to pretty much woodland. It was fantastic. It was like, I, I guess, a national park of some kind, but with some private properties there. Really nice to get away. Um, we wandered up to this high rocky pass, which apparently is really good if you want to see the northern lights. We didn't see any, but it was beautiful. Um, there was quite a lot of drinking involved on this holiday. So we went to the brewery there, which is a Brooklyn brewery or part owned by the Brooklyn brewery. And the, yeah, there were a lot of drinks, <laughs> a lot throughout that holiday. Oh, there's Dave. And because I enjoyed going out to bars and things, we got to see quite a lot of live music too. There were some fantastic museums there and I don't want to make it all about fun, but there was some real learning to do if you wanted to do it. So we went to the Modern Art Museum, but we also went to the Fotografiska Museum, which is a photo photography museum. While I was there, I picked up some postcards from Lars Tunbjork. Um, he's a photographer and they had um, sort of a, an exhibition of his work. It was amazing. But there's lots of other people exhibiting work there and it yeah, really, really great. Loved it. The other museum I went to was the Vassa Museum or the Vassa Musite. And that was, it's a salvaged ship essentially, but the ship is from 1628 and it's largely complete. It's like this huge warship with loads and loads of guns. Um, it's like five stories tall, something ridiculous like that. And it sank on its maiden voyage, um, like 1.2 kilometers into its maiden voyage, it sank. And it was built incorrectly, or it wasn't built to a good enough spec. Essentially, it was too narrow and it didn't weigh enough to be stable in the water. So when it went out on its maiden voyage, it was blown over by the wind, essentially. And then water rushed in through the cannon ports on the side, filled up the ship and it sank and lots of people died. But the interesting thing about that museum isn't just that they have this huge warship that's still intact but it's how much they learnt from all the things they salvaged from it because it was really well preserved. It only sank like 32 metres um, deep. So um, they, they pulled a lot of it up. They got it all out in the 1980s and constructed this museum around it. And it was just fascinating, the workmanship that went into that ship and the things you can still see today. They also had a rather nice gift shop, which I always do enjoy. Vassar in a bottle. Well, that is my little take on Stockholm. 
It was a really, really nice place to visit. I would recommend you go if you can. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Make sure you have like a few days there though, because it's a big place. So there's a lot to see. We didn't even go to the north of um, Stockholm really. So we focused on the south and on the east. So it'd be great to go back again and explore some more at some point. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.